So, let's see. This one has been in here for quite some time, but I can still see it's still very soft. But this one's going to be a little different because... <gasps> Do you see that? <laughs> oh, no. Hello, everyone. This is HMOC. And I just want to say thank you to all my old subscribers and welcome my new subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. So I finally got around to rebatching my last fail pumpkin eggnog soap. And it didn't go as planned and I had to do a lot more work to this batch. Okay, since I had such great success with the last one, I'm going to try and save this one as well. So, let's see. This one has been in here for quite some time, but I can still see it's still very soft. But this one's gonna be a little different because, <gasps> do you see that? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, see? It's still weeping its um, liquids. So what I'm going to do is I want to try and save this top. So I'm going to cut off the bottom and put it in my crock pot. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and come back. I'm going to try to take the just the bottom half off of this. I want to try and save the top. So. I'm going to cut this bottom half off and kind of gingerly separate it from the top. Cause this is, I wanna save. Cause this is fine. I wanna reattach this to the base. So all this on the underneath side, I wanna take off as much as I can. And then this is a mess. And then I'm just gonna cut this up. Ooh, see that? Uh, I'm just going to put it right into my crock pot here on the side because it's still oozing its liquid. If you see that, I'm not even going to try to cut this up. So let's set this off to the side. So I'm just going to, so my, it has my crock pot. I don't have it plugged in yet but what I'm gonna do is just I'm just gonna break this up it's soft see how soft this is still and it's been at least I want to see at least a week or two in here look at that and I'm just gonna break this up it already has the cup of water in here because this batch is a little bigger than the last one so I'm just gonna break this up put it on low and get it to melting my base in here and I've broken it up somewhat I love this color now hopefully I can retain this color it looks just like pumpkin so that's what I wanted that pumpkin color I scraped off the base of the top I'm gonna try and save this and reconnect it to the base when it melts down and I'm gonna I put the cup of water in here I'm gonna let this go for about an hour just staring at it occasionally. I'm around here doing different things. I'm gonna put the top on, it's on low. Put the top on and just let it go. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put the top on and just let it go. And we'll see in about an hour how it's coming along. In an hour since I put this on, and it's still on low, but as you can see, it is very liquidy. I should have cut up my soap first, and then added my water because there was quite a bit of liquid that was in the soap from the puree and I didn't realize how much so I probably should have put like half a cup of water to start with or maybe even less so I'm gonna have to cook this down probably I don't know another hour or more to try and get this to a consistency that I can put into a mold I mean and I want to melt these bigger chunks down as well it would be nice to put it in like this but I don't think it's gonna solidify because it had a lot of water in it and I added water to it to melt it down so I'm gonna cook it for another hour and see what we have at that point so it has been another three hours and 
the clumps and the bumps that were in it has liquefied but this is the most fluent I have seen hot process soap. I've been cooking this now for about three hours and I literally want to cook it longer. I'm not sure what to do. I've never had this happen before. I shouldn't have added that water. I should have just put it in like it was and just processed it like that because it had a lot of water in it because of the puree because I put too much in it. So I'm going to cook this a little longer and see what happens. Hopefully that water will evaporate out of it. Like, have you ever seen hot processed soap like this? This might be a true fail. Yeah, I don't know what to do. And I want to do and put the this topping that I have here back on it. But <laughs> that topping, this soap is never going to hold that topping. That topping is heavy. So this has got to be a lot firmer than this to hold that topping on. So yeah, I'm going to cook it for another couple of hours and I'll once I'm ready to mold it and see what it looks like. So it is the next day and the consistency is pretty good. But look what I had to do to get it there. I actually had to strain the soap. After hours and hours of cooking it, I still had a whole pile of liquid in it. This is probably about half a cup or so that I have left in it and I used my strainer to get it all out or as much as I possibly could. And then I put it back into my crock pot and this is kind of the consistency I need to get it into the bowl. So I'm going to let this cook probably for another hour and see if I can firm it up a little bit more. And then at that point, I will try and get it into the mold and possibly reattach my top. Batch has been cooking literally for another couple of hours now, about two or three. I'll have to look at the time. And it is not any more, actually it's more fluent than it was at the very beginning when it cooled down. So what I'm going to do is... Turn it off because it's still on low. Let it cool down a bit and hopefully it will solidify or tighten up somewhat because um, this is not going to hold the top that I want to put back on there. <sighs> so, yeah, a little bit frustrating, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to turn it off, let it cool down a bit, put it into the mill, and hopefully it will solidify enough to hold the top I want to put back on it. And what I'm going to do is score the back of the top so hopefully it adheres to the base. So we'll see how this goes. I've never done this before. I've never had this problem where I wanted to reuse the top. I've just always just cut it all up and thrown it in the crock pot with a little bit of water and things were fine. But this is definitely a new situation that I'm dealing with. So let's see how this goes. I have my soap base here it's thickened up quite a bit but it's not thick I don't think enough to hold the top um, it's cooled I've been cooling it for about an hour which kind of worries me because it's not really that thick for being so cool so will it solidify that's my question I'm gonna put it in the mole I have the mole here I'm gonna put it in here but I'm not sure it's going to work so I don't know I'm you know what let's see something I want to see if we can hold this spatula up let's see hmm. more on an angle hmm. spatula up so maybe it will hold the top up that's what I'm concerned about, whether it's going to hold the top and then get hard. So actually, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to put it in the mold and see what happens. And I'll show you the results in a couple of days. Because, of course, I'm going to leave this in the mold for a couple of extra days. I'm not going to try to unmold this in 24 hours.
my base in focus and here's my top I've scored it and put a few little divots to hopefully try and help the base of hair to the top and what I'm gonna do is just try to flip it over and rest it in there gently now I'm gonna have to do this with two hands so I'll come back when I've done that that did not go as planned <laughs> um, I got it in here but as I was putting it in it actually fell out of my hands and as you can see it actually went in crooked um, I'm actually gonna leave that and try to clean it up when it's completely dried and I did firmly push it down into the base it is holding so I'm just putting a little bit of pressure so it settles into that base nicely and adheres hopefully and we'll see how this turns out because I like like I said I like the top but it's the other stuff that I didn't like the base so we'll see how this goes and it's been a long journey with this soap, rebatching this soap. So we'll see how it turns out. Here I have here is my second failed attempt at pumpkin eggnog that I reprocessed the bottom and just left the top and put the top back on it. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here. You know what? I'm going to turn on a light. I like to... I don't know I like it darker in my soap studio but it's not the greatest light for filming so hold on one second it's my second failed attempt at making pumpkin eggnog this is the one I hot process and then just put the top back on I don't know what that is I think it might be the top discoloring if you can see it's going like sort of peachy pumpkin -y color in the scent of different spots but I left a spatula with some of the soap base bottom on just to make sure it was getting hard I didn't wash this up from my dishes and it is quite hard I did leave this for about a week since I've reprocessed that bottom and we're gonna see how it goes I will tell you it is well the top was always firm so the top's firm so we'll see um, this goes I can already tell the bottom is soft like I said that spatula had air going to it so there was no air in the mold and I can tell just by pulling this out it's soft and as you can see yeah it's still soft so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually leave this I think uncut maybe I'll cut it it feels firm enough to cut but as you can see it's pulling away in the mold so I'm going to do a little doctoring up on this and I'm going to cut it and show you what that looks like. What I did was, I hate to handle it, but what I did was I took my knife, my Bobby Flay knife, which is probably going to be a collector's item pretty soon, and I just smoothed it out, trying to not um, as you can see I just smoothed it out as best I could I took what was left in the mold and I just put it back onto the soap it's soft enough to where I can just mold it back in so I'm gonna cut it and let's see what we have hopefully it holds together <laughs> and I'm gonna do this this way I want to really do it so it doesn't yeah so it doesn't um fall apart but let's see how it goes so as I said the top is nice and soft the bottom is the problem okay well it's staying together that's one good thing so yeah I can clean up all this with my knife so I'm just gonna get this onto my curing rack I like how it came out yeah it's still soft quite soft but otherwise than that I do have to clean up like some of the edges of course I have to do this I'm gonna clean this up anyway and the ones that like that I'm just gonna take my knife and smooth them out so that's my saved soap and I kind of like this little bit of color in the white up there because it just adds to it every bar is unique every bar is different so that is my pumpkin eggnog that I'm quite happy with and I'm gonna get on the curing rack 
even that little bit that came up how I placed it in there it's quite unique almost looks like I don't know a pumpkin growing up out of the side so yeah see like this one I'm gonna have to clean up I'm probably keep this one for myself but yeah that's pumpkin eggnog so as you can see even after years and years of baking soap we can still have some setbacks and this is one way to get around them thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and click that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. Thanks again and have a great day.